Hi, I'm Christina with USA Roller Chain and Sprockets, and I'm here today to show you how to properly measure and identify your roller chain. The easiest way, of course, is if you have access to the box or package that it came in. You look at the side of it and it's going to give us this number. This is going to tell us exactly what kind of chain you have. Because roller chain comes in many sizes and shapes, there are a few roller chain dimensions that we're going to need in order to make sure we get you the right roller chain size. Now before we get into actually measuring the roller chain, let's talk about the different components of the roller chain. Here we have the sidebar or side plate. In this case, this is what's known as a straight sidebar. Here we have your standard figure eight or curved sidebar. Here we have the roller, the pin, and if this is actually a riveted chain, if there were actually cotter pins that went through here, then that would be what's known as cottered roller chain. There are four basic dimensions that we're going to need in order to properly measure your chain, whether it's agricultural chain, engineering class chain, or standard roller chain. We need to know the pitch, the roller width and diameter, plate height and thickness, and pin diameter. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is pitch. Just make sure that we all understand what we mean when we talk about pitch. The pitch is going to be the link, whether it be the roller link, which is the inside link, or the pin link, which is the outside link. Both of these links are known as pitches. And in order to get the correct pitch, you're going to need to measure the distance between the center of pin to center of pin. On this larger roller chain, you can use a tape measure or a ruler, but the most accurate way to do it would be use a caliper. So here you see the center of pin to center of pin will give you the measurement of the pitch. The next measurement we need is the roller width, which is going to be this measurement, and roller diameter, which is this. The next measurement you're going to need is plate height and thickness. So here's how you measure your plate height. It's this measurement. This is on the straight sidebar. On the curved, you've got to measure the widest part here to get that measurement for plate height. Plate thickness is going to be this measurement. You're measuring how thick the sidebar or side plate is. The next measurement we need is the pin diameter. Now if you have the chain taken apart you can simply measure the diameter of the pin that goes into this hole or you can measure the inside diameter of the hole like so. A lot of times your roller chain will have numbers or letters stamped on the outside side plate. This gives you a good starting point. That along with the dimensions that you provide will help ensure that you get the chain you need. Also, if your chain happens to have attachments like this or an extended pin, be sure to look for our video on how to properly identify your roller chain attachments. I'm Christina with USA Roller Chain and I look forward to talking with you soon.